Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today I want to do something for the silver wolves right quick. Because I got storms coming in. I'm going to be wet for a couple of days down here. And so I want to talk about building a fire in a hurry. Okay? As I pointed out in my videos on fire kits, I believe that a fire kit should carry some tinder in it. And that the fire kit should have at least three sources of ignition. Two of which that produce flame, like a lighter and those lifeboat matches, and one that can produce something else, like a ferro rod that produces sparks. That you should have tinder that it works wet. Two three kinds of tinder. Two kinds that work when wet, and one kind that can be dry, like the jute or the bag of shavings or whatever. So let's talk a second about why we need something that works when wet, an ignition source and a tender source. It's because we get dumped. We slide down in that creek, whatever. We went for a little hike, saw something interesting, tried to take a look and ended up for a tumble. And we end up wet. Now we got cold, we got wet, and we have got to get a fire to get dried out and warmed up before we even hit back to the truck because of the fact that it is so cold and I've got to do this. This isn't a question, this is a gotta. Therefore, I need some sort of tender. Now there's several different kinds of tender. One of my types of tender I talk about is good old fat wood that can be shaved down very quickly and split off. This works sopping wet. You just shake the water off of it, shave it, and it's good to go. But those of you that may live in countries and areas that don't have easy access to that, then some sort of fire starter. Now what this is, one of them face pads the ladies use to take their makeup off with. And all they've done is taken and made a pot of wax, like candle wax or paraffin wax or something like that. Took a pair of tweezers and dunked it. A pair of chopsticks work good. Dunked it. Let it soak up as much as it can, hold it up in there and let it dry, drip dry, and then put it on aluminum foil, and you've got one of these. Now these are super easy to make and carry, but more importantly, there is a little technique you need to be understand. You have coated it in solid wax. So when I come up here and put the flame to it, let's say I'm using a lighter or a match, it's going to have to melt that wax and then get it going. It's better to do this. I like to take it and I tear it down about three quarters away. Then I take this half and I tear it down three quarters away. And I take that section and tear it down three quarters away. And that kind of lets it lay out kind of flat. See? See all these fibers? That's what you hit with your lighter because that's the cotton fibers that will catch the fire easy and then spread it into the wax, which acts like a wick and therefore gets it going easier. So I can open this up like this instead of that round puck. Now, when I set the end on fire, I can stick it up under my fire pit easier. Especially if I'm cold and I'm wet and I'm, uh, you know. I can, if I can maneuver a lighter, I ain't that cold. Or if I can get a hold of a match and get it to strike. Even if I can strike it and just drop it on the ground and put this over it to light it. As you can see, it burns like a wick generating a lot of heat and flame coming straight up. So me putting wood on either side to keep the wind off of it like this would shield it and get it going. Now this is going to burn six, seven, eight minutes and that gives me plenty of time to get stuff piled up there on top of it and get it going. But what it's giving me more than anything else is continuous flame. So even if my tender is wet and damp and everything else, it gives it an opportunity to dry out by that constant source. And I'm not wasting three quarters of my lighter sitting there just holding a constant flame trying to do it. This does that job and saves my match, saves my lighter, especially if I'm that cold where I'm really having trouble using my hands through dexterity. Lighting something like this and then it becomes like the mini campfire. Now I come and put my bundle of little bitty sticks on top of it and keep shielding the wind all the way around and let it heat and go up through the middle and gather up the heat needed to ignite to dry and dry it out to tender and get it going. But it will burn for multiple minutes. That's the big advantage of it over a lighter or a match. Time, it is a tender. Same thing with fat wood. 
split out slivers of flat type wood, nail it in the ground as a vertical big match and set it fire at the base so it flares up to full length and you get a big column of flame. When things are cold and wet, this is what you need in order to get it going. One of those cruel factors of life is the more desperately you need a fire, the harder it is, the harder it is to actually light the fire. Because A, it's cold, two, it's windy, you're wet, you're, uh, you know, like this, trying to do it. And so you don't have the hand coordination to sit there and shave and get a pile of shavings or make a feather stick or whatever. So carrying in your kit a ready-made tinder that you can just hit it with flame and it ignites and gets going. And more than that, it burns for a duration of several minutes. That's the big important part of it. Because, yeah, I can get and it's going. But if it only burns 20 seconds and my little bitty sticks and everything are kind of damp, it's going out. I want burn time. That's one of the kings of fat wood is split off a long sliver and just set it vertically and then put something down here at the base and set it on fire and let it run up. And suddenly you got 12, 14 inches of flame coming up and you can hold a damp tinder bundle in the flame and dry it out and get it to ignite. See, that's the secret. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. There will be more stuff coming for the old silver wolves. And as soon as this front gets through, and it stops being 74 degrees in lower Alabama with 90% humidity. That storm front is supposed to pass, and then this weekend it's supposed to drop down and be back in the 30s. I'll be doing a hot tent video, but we got that coming too. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.